Hey folks, let's continue talking about uh, what we should be doing during this coronavirus pandemic because uh, I've had a chance to talk with a lot of jewelers over the last few days. And as this grows and develops in our country, uh, how people are reacting and what they're seeing in business. And I've put number six here. Uh, I probably should have started with that. But the big advantage that we have as independent retailers is that we're not a big congregational destination. We're not the NCAA or the, you know, the, the Final Four and uh, the college, ba and, and, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We're not these big, large venues that uh, are, are shutting down. So that is one great thing. And people are going to be, uh, they're still going to be out and about because uh, we Americans, we want and love our freedom and we're going to go do what we need to do uh, unless we are physically restrained from doing it or legally <laughs> restrained from doing it. So um, right now, it's not uh, its not affecting a whole lot of traffic right now because of the fact that we are not congregational type destinations. So, uh, But let's just talk about a little bit more specifically some of the things that I've learned that people are doing. And that is, number one, create videos. Um, Listen, the more people are, or the less people are out and about, the more they're going to be attached to these things and they're going to be watching these things. This is how the news is coming. This is where they find their hope. This is fine, where they, you know, are entertained. So create videos. I was just talking with Fritz yesterday up in Lockport, New York, and, um, <clears throat> You know, there, there's no cases in that area, and uh, uh, I was chatting with uh, Fritz, and he hadn't he hadn't thought of any ideas yet. But he's usually the guy that's going to sing a song or do a uh, do some funny skit, uh, things like that. And uh, as we were discussing it, we thought we're not going to make light of this, and we're not going to we're not going to joke about it. Okay, uh, we shouldn't be joking about the pandemic, but we should uh, still be. Uh, we should still should be very positive and we still should be moving forward in everything that we do. So, um, you know, I, and I talked to Jason this morning at Avenue Jewelers. Uh, they have a Napoleon Dynamite campaign where they all bought Napoleon Dynamite wigs and they and they made T-shirts that say vote for Avenue Jewelers instead of vote for Pedro. Uh, so they're staying in in the fun um, you know, life life hasn't got us down kind of phase yet. So uh, be thinking about that. Maybe some fun things that you could be doing. I mentioned in my uh, social media video that I did yesterday at Feldstein's, I said, do an unboxing video. Uh, you've seen unboxing videos when it comes to usually gadgets and things like that. But what if you did an unboxing video of jewelry or even... Um, even funny stuff that came from Amazon. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's cotton balls or something like that. Just to unbox. Just be funny and engaging um, and upbeat. Okay, so create more videos than ever. I think just to get out there. Again, we are we have the opportunity to to be a light and uh, hope and that uh, business as usual kind of thing. So keep that in, in mind. Uh, this is a great chance to attend to your layaways and your repair pickups. Lord knows that box is full and it's been full for a long time and that lady has not come and pick up that ring that she had redone. Maybe she's dead, maybe she's moved on, who knows. But uh, get back in that repair in those layaway boxes. See if you can just start drawing a little bit of uh, walk-in traffic. Uh, and then of course, go over your wish lists. All right, this is a great time to go over wish lists. And what wish lists can do as you, as you start going over them is that either you can start or restart a conversation. Okay, and I've talked about that in the past. Uh, conversations are very important. And it's funny because, you know, whenever we have conversations with people, whether it's in the grocery store or we see them out and about, uh, everybody's got kind of that one little project that they've always wanted. Or I got this thing laying in my drawer. Or I've always wanted to do this and those types of things. So continue creating those conversations with people, okay? Great positive stuff to keep business moving and uh, and be a light to people as well. Um, keep marketing and advertising. Uh, only one jeweler that I know have know of has completely stopped uh, marketing and advertising. I wouldn't recommend that because again, these things are going to be more prevalent than ever. So if you're if you're marketing and advertising, uh, we're we're tuned to those things. So be in that radar. Very, very important. Again, we're not a con congregational destination. Um, schedule appoint appointments. Um, I was just uh, at 
an event here in Appleton where they were having an estate sale, uh, scheduling appointments where they knew or customers knew there wasn't going to be 40 people in the store. So uh, this is a great chance to get really good at scheduling appointments for events. And and you can even say that when you're calling or texting, just saying, hey, listen, um, you know, we, we understand. Oops, I got to tell these people no. Uh, we understand that, uh, you know, you, you want to be, you want to reduce your risk. So let's just have a, an appointment where it's just us. Okay. So great way to put that. You want to reduce your risk. Uh, and then finally, if you haven't started a texting program, whether it's uh, through uh, the service over in Washington, I can't think of it right now, uh, but it's the little, it's the texting and uh, the social media people. I'll think of it as soon as I turn the camera off. Uh, on your website, very, very important to have that texting and chat uh, availability on the website. Um, and then uh, get good. I mean, there's so many programs here. There's, uh, there's so many things on our phone that we can actually talk and have meetings with customers. There's Google Hangouts. There's the WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp, the WhatsApp. There's uh, all kinds of things. There's Zoom video and things like that. So there's really there's really no excuse not to be able to uh, be able to at least show a customer or walk them through your cases uh, and when you're on the phone. And you know what? Uh, the uh, the online diamond sellers have been practicing this and trying to perfect this whole system for years now, this is really our chance to, to dive in and get really good at this kind of business. So uh, I encourage that very much. Hope that clap didn't uh, affect you too much. So, okay. Another thing is just always be looking to take the next step forward. Always the next positive step forward. Okay. Uh, we can sit and worry and we, when we sit in fear, fear just holds us back from everything. Have faith, um, think positively and take the next step forward. And a lot of times the next step forward is simply, what is the next thing I need to do? What's the next action? Who's the next person I need to reach out to? Okay. So, uh, if you are sitting there and traffic isn't happening, and you are just drowning in your own sorrows and, and glummy attitude and, and negative thoughts, that's not gonna be good for anybody, okay? So always take that next step. And in marriage, we're often told, act like you're in love. Do the things that you did when you were in love. Well, the exact same thing applies here. We need to act and do the things like when we're busy. Always, so always be taking that next step. So. I had to round it off to 10, so I put fear not on there, so I had to get biblical. Now, at the end, I wanted to end, uh, just mention uh, on next Wednesday, March 18th, I hope you watch this in time, uh, we are going to have a conference call. It's an open conference call for all specialty retailers to join and talk about what they're doing uh, to... Uh, to help business along during these times. Uh, just kind of hear the state of affairs, who's really being affected. I know we have a lot of chats going on jewelers helping jewelers, but this is a chance to audibly hear it and to have conversation back and forth. Uh, and I think that's important. So I'm gonna facilitate that, and I'm gonna put that Zoom invitation right underneath this video. So, hey, those are some things. Sorry about that. And uh, let's just keep moving forward. Don't stop believing.